Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo, and with me right now is Darian Chapman. Darian, welcome back to UNF. You are coming off of a victory. You're headed into your second fight. Uh, first and foremost, tell us how it felt to get that first victory. Uh, it felt great to get that first victory. Um, you know, I haven't been fighting for a few years. I was on like a three and a half year layoff, and then um, I got the chance to come back fighting against a game opponent. Um, last time so uh, it was great uh, the fight went very different than when I thought it would be I thought we'd be standing and banging the whole time but eventually I got it to the point where we needed to and, and got the win so that was great so uh, you know you're coming off of that first win you talked about it right now so you know with that being said you're now headed into the second bout how cool would it be for you to continue that momentum and pick up another victory um, I think it would be great to really pick up that momentum and go to another victory because um, I, I didn't come here just to just to fight I came here because I want to get one of these UNF belts whether it be at welterweight or at featherweight um, I'm sorry lightweight or featherweight either one welterweight is way too big for me and, <laughs> yeah so you know, I, that's what I'm looking forward to. So I'm coming here definitely to get a win and, and pull off what I want to pull off. That is so freaking awesome. So how are you preparing for this fight? And talk to us about your opponent. Um, the way I'm preparing for this, uh, this fight is I'm training a lot with uh, my coach, uh, Sugarfoot Cunningham. Um, we're doing a lot of striking, a lot of counters, and being ready for somebody that likes to box the way Devin likes to box. And, um, and not letting it be the, a normal average fight. We're going to bring the fight to him. You know, that's our job. Our job is to go up in there and get a W and not to let the pace be at his pace, but at mine. Nice. I love that. Let the pace be at your pace. You exactly. sound very confident heading into this fight. So with that being said, you know, I want to talk a little bit about how you got started in MMA. What made you decide to pursue this journey? Um, I was a dancer. Um, oh. Prior to doing this, I was on So You Think You Could Dance uh, a while back. My wife inspired me to do a lot of the things that I'm doing now. Um, not only that, but just my mom's always told me, you know, if you see them people on TV, they regular people just like you. You want to do it, just get after it. But um, when it came down to actually fighting, um, I was talking to my significant other. Uh, long story short, I had a small uh, altercation at the movie theaters, and she was asking me, why am I not doing this? So I hopped into the gym um, over at House of Champions way back when, when my son was like probably 11, so maybe 2013, and been doing it ever since. Man, it's kind of crazy though when you said dancer and you're on So You Think You Can Dance, and then all of a sudden now you're also, you know, doing, uh, you know, this MMA stuff. It's just totally different and not what I expected. So, you know, I know that you said your significant other mentioned that you used to pursue this, but what was everybody else's reaction? When they found this out, that you were going to be switching gears. Um, some of my friends kind of had a feeling because I, I, you know, I wouldn't take crap from a lot of people. So they knew that there was some type of other edge uh, that they would see within me. But um, a lot of my friends were surprised. They were like, but it made sense. And, you know, athletic, um, could do a lot of things, pick up things fast, play a lot of sports as a child. Um, the only person that does not like it and still doesn't like it is my mother. Yeah, of course, um, right? She came to my last fight and I told her I was going to retire, but I'm back again. So sorry, mama, but your boy got this itch and I'm going to scratch it. Man, well, you know what? I don't blame your mom for, you know, being concerned. After all, it's a danger sport. We know that. You know that better mm -hmm. than anybody. So uh, also, uh, what Okay, this may be a strange question, but has your dance or your dance training helped out with any of your uh, MMA work? Of course, of course. When it comes to combinations, that's no different than the eight count. You know, um, when it comes to learning jujitsu or anything like that, it's just all choreography to me. So when it comes down to learning this stuff, I pick it up quick. Um, the only difference is trying to apply it with somebody else trying to break up your choreography. So that's the only difference to me. Oh, I like that explanation. That's mm -hmm. definitely true. And so I do want to rewind a little bit and go back to So You, you Think You Can Dance. What was that experience like? What did you um, get to do? That, that was nice. Um, I was there during uh, the Vegas part. Um, so I got to do majority of the show inside Las Vegas. So that was a lot of fun. Um, it was just a little different, though. First time being away from my family. I had a newborn son at the time. But the overall experience was fun. Um, I wish I would have got a lot farther on the show. Um, but you need some ballet training as well. You can't just pick that up, you know, like, like it's nothing, you know. But it was a great experience. Man, that is wild. That is oh. so cool that you get to walk out and you get to say, I was on So You Could Think You Can Dance. Uh -huh. I'm a dancer, but you know what? I can also whoop butt. So, <laughs> uh, Darian, thank you so much for chatting with us here today. And can't wait to see you once again at Up Next Fighting. Thank Thank you. Thank you.